What's up everyone, Alan Morrow here and welcome to this video. Today I want to show you a little technique that you can use to sort of clean up your percussion loops. So before we get into the video, if you haven't hit that subscribe and notification bell, be sure to do that if you're looking for um, tips and tricks with your transproductions. I'm uh, pointing out videos now probably every week or so. Uh, and if you are looking for more in-depth tutorials, please head over to alanmorrisstudios.com where there is plenty of uh, in-depth production courses, sample packs, templates, and all these sorts of things to help you with your productions. And also, depending on when you're watching this video, there is currently a Black Friday sale on at the moment. Um, so yeah, you'll be able to save yourself a big, uh, big discount there if you head over. So let's get into the video. So what I've got here is I have a, a percussion loop. And I've just basically got LFO tools set up on here so you can visually kind of see what's going to happen. I've brought the side chain off so it's just being basically used as a visualizer. So what I'm going to do now is let's say, for example, you've got a loop like this and you kind of, you like it, but the kind of, this part here, the after the transient is, is a little bit sort of muddy, sort of messing up the mix. Let's say you've got a couple of loops in there and you just want to sort of tighten up a little bit. Um, one way to do this is by using a uh, noise gate. So if we go to the noise gate here, um, we can go to the threshold. Now you can use any noise gate you want, basically. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow um, certain peaks through depending on where you've got the threshold set. So if I start to go a bit drastic with this, you can sort of see what starts to happen. So. So you can now sort of see that um, the, the louder, slightly louder hits are starting to come through, but the other ones aren't because they're not passing through the threshold. So one way to kind of tighten this up is to kind of do this and you can have a bit of a play around, you know, um, and you can also mess around with sort of the attack times and hold time. So if I bring this attack down, so it's uh, instantly uh, grabbing onto that uh, transient and I'm going to come to the hold time and shorten this a little bit. So you can hear now it's sort of shortening those hits. Now, what you'll probably notice here is as I'm bringing the threshold, it's only bringing in a couple of those loops, but it's definitely tightening up the ones that are going through the actual threshold. So if you find that is the case, it's because obviously some of these quieter hits here aren't going through the threshold, but we might want those to, uh, to cut through. So one thing I'm just going to do is I'm going to um, just cut this loop here, for example, or cut it wherever the loop kind of doesn't um, stops repeating itself. Um, if there's, you know, it could be, it could be a four beat, it could be eight bar, eight beat, 16 beat. It might have different hits in there. So just make sure I'm just going to do this for the, uh, demonstration. So I'm going to cut this up and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to bring the level of these up a little bit. Um, where are we? Yep. So I'm going to bring the level this up and what this is going to do then is, um, basically bring up the level so that all of them are kind of coming through and then we can cut away the sort of the noise gate, the noise floor from there. So. Let me just bring that up as well. And this way now, when I do this, you'll start to see. Well, now it's now triggering each hit. Uh, and we can be a bit more precise with this now. So, you know, we can play around with the threshold here. See, even just one dB can stop you from hearing anything. You can see here now that these ones are still a little bit louder. So if I was to bring this up a little bit, Just that one there that's coming through. Let me duplicate that again. So they're all sort of coming through now. And you can have a bit of a play around with it uh, with the whole time. You know, make sort of like weird sort of scratching sounds. And you play with the release times. And have a little bit of fun with it, you know. Um, if you find that you've got... Um, it sounds a little bit static as well. You can then come over and add a, a little bit of stereo delay to it as well, which can sometimes just give it that little bit of extra movement. Um, and the reason why I say that is you're then just stereo delaying the very sort of high transients when you do this rather than the full, you know, you're kind of really cleaning up some of that sort of muddy area. And I've obviously just showed you a drastic version of it there to show exactly what it's doing, but you can have a bit of a play around with it and sort of see how sort of uh, 
sort of short you want them. But yeah, I hope that sort of helped you in uh, in a way that you can basically clean up your loops. There's other ways you can obviously do it. You can manually go in and cut them and all those sorts of things. Always many different ways to skin a cat when it comes to production, but this is one way to sort of clean up your loops and have a little bit of fun with them. So I hope you've, this has helped you. Uh, if you haven't yet done so, please head over to the... Uh, just getting new to this <laughs> new uh, video thing. One second. <laughs> Um, if you haven't yet done so, please head over to alanmorrisstudios.com forward slash free and you can join the AIM Studios production community and you'll get exclusive tips and tricks sent directly to your inbox. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.